Hello, hello. I want to start by thanking all of my new subscribers and everybody uh, coming to this channel. You rock. Uh, I got an electric guitar, a small electric guitar for the work I do with at-risk youth. I actually uh, recently was awarded a grant to buy more instruments uh, for a local juvenile detention center where I bring instruments in and and uh, I've done drum circles and stuff in the past, and now I've got uh, got some more stuff to bring in. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. They're really excited about getting an electric guitar in there. So uh, today I want to talk about one four five and what one four five actually means. Uh, musicians talk about it all the time. It's a it's a one four five progression. They might say, oh where did oh this song it's really easy. It's just one four five, and um, if, you're, if you've never really heard that, and you don't get that, I'm gonna explain that in this video. Okay, let's dig in. Okay, so I was playing C, and then F, and then G, and then C. But I was going from C to F for a while before I went to G. So I was going one, four, one, four, five, one, so what that means is, is that the one is the, uh, the, well, one is a chord that's built on the root note of the key. So that might sound a little bit weird, but it's the home chord, it's the chord we come back to, and the, and the root note in it, the lowest note in that chord, the C, would also be the the home note we come to if we were playing a melody over this if we were going it's that c that is home for us and so our chords are playing notes from our scale from the scale all the chords that we're using are playing notes from that scale. And if we start on a different note, so here we've got, say, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Say we start on two. Let's see here. And when we start on two, the second note, this is a D here. So we started on C, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Well, say I start on D. Right away, I'm, um, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re. Because I started on a different note, I've changed the spacing between the notes. Easy to see it on just one string. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step. Let's say I start on two. Whole step, half step, whole step. I'm changing the spacing between the notes. But I'm still in the key of C. I'm just starting in a new place. So if I start here, I get this minor sound. I start on that D. And that's why the the uh, the we have the one chord, the two chord would, would be D minor. My guitar is this is uh this needs new strings, sorry. So it sounds a little bit a little bit twangy, a little out of tune. I gotta put new strings on it, but um yeah, so we've got our D, D minor here. So one chord is C, two is D minor, and then three is E minor. And again, that's because of the spacing in the in the notes of the scale. And the four chord is F. And check it out, it's built on the, the fourth note of, of the scale of C. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, one, two, three, four. At the root of the F, the F note, is the fourth note in the C scale. C, D, E, F. Right? And the chord, so it's the fourth note, and it's the, the four chord. And we go to G here, 
Well, G is the fifth note in the scale, but um, I'm gonna show you how that works. So uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm here on the fifth fret on the fourth string. And that's the same G, it's an octave higher, but it's also a G. They're both a G. So G here, right, is also played here. So it's still a G, and so the G is the fifth of C. One, two, three, four, five. Five chord, and that's major because when I get to that point, and if I were running the scale at that point, my intervals would be major again. So I hope, I hope that helps. And uh, if you get an opportunity, please uh, support me by uh, going to my Patreon page. Uh, it helps me do the work I do, uh, both with at-risk youth and uh, with just bringing the joy of music um, to everybody uh, out there in the world. So yeah, we'll see you next time.